Okay, good morning. I've got uh, Home Designer Pro 2014 open here, and I just drew a box. It automatically put these uh, hip roofs on. Now, for trusses, I'm going to make these uh, two end, end uh, walls. I'm going to order a gable roof, full gable roof. You know, okay, now we have a gable roof. I'm going to do a cross section through the building. And by default, it's going to have a flat ceiling at 9 feet. It's just... Uh, that's what, out of the box, it's going to be set to about 9 feet. I don't particularly care about that. That's not really part of this tutorial. But you can see, they put an 812 roof in there, out of the box default, and uh, a, a flat ceiling. Now, this is one room, so I'm just going to open up the dialog box and tell it to have no ceiling. And you see the ceiling disappears, and that's what we have left is a common rafter vault. I think these roof planes are, uh, I just, yeah, these roof planes are 812, so we have a common rafter 812 roof, roof uh, vault. I'm going to show you an isometric camera view of that, and that's what it is. So <clears throat> I think what the poster uh, was asking about is a scissor truss where you have a, the interior vault is a little bit lower. Well, how do you do that? Well, that's what, that's what this tutorial is going to be about. <clears throat> but just simple common raptor vaults, you just open the dialog box and take the ceiling out. And that's how you start to do a scissor truss. And uh, <clears throat> we'll just go ahead. I'm going to build uh, framing. And we build wall framing. And uh, I'm... When you build framing, you should very carefully check all of these presets and make sure that that actually they they fit and mirror how you intend to build. Don't just assume that the software doesn't know anything; it's just preset this way. And if either the presets are either correct for you or they're not correct for you, and you need to look at them and understand what each of these inputs are, <clears throat> get these terms cleared if you're not familiar with the terms, <clears throat> so that you know what you're looking at. Otherwise, you'll get goofy results, and then you'll Blame the software, and you'll be wrong. It's, you have to be you have to be responsible for knowing what these terms mean and what these settings, how these settings are set. Okay, <clears throat> so I've done wall and roof framing, and I've ordered them built. So we'll click OK. Yes, I want those layers on. Those layers weren't on before, so there's the roof framing and uh, the wall framing. Let's go back to that. Uh, Oh, there's nothing in the camera view. Well, that's because in this camera view set, I'm sure framing is not turned on. Let's turn that on. Go over here to layer display options. <coughs> framing. Oh, look. Framing roof is turn, is there. The red plus sign says it's there, but it's turned off. Uh, I'm going to turn on roof trusses. We don't have any yet. I never have understood why. It, I haven't built a single truss, but yet it says... Eh, but anyway, I'm going to turn those on so we can now see them. Now, it doesn't show up all that dramatically. There's the top wall plates. You can see them. And there's the ridge. And this is, and uh, we'll take a look at this in an uh, overview camera as well, which uh, shows all the framing. Yeah, there it is. And that's what, it's, that's what I built so far. <clears throat> and if you want a secondary pitch inside... Uh, then there's additional manual steps that you have to take. <clears throat> okay, just I'm going to turn in plan view. And by the way, there's a different layer display options for plan view and a, and a separate one for uh, um, camera views. It's over here under, uh, I think it's tools, yeah, display settings. Display options, and this is for plan view because we're in plan view. And here's the uh, display options for reference displays. They're, set, they're separate. They're not the same. In order to, uh, in Pro, in order to access the one for camera views, I'd have to be in a camera view. And then when you click here, this is actually, although it doesn't say it's a different layer display options, is, is this is called a, the section view uh, layer display options for, for section view cameras. And then there's a third set for, like, overviews. 
and if you go now to display options, this is a different display options. It's not the same display options. It'll, it says it's the same, but it's not the same. This is very specific for each type of view, okay? Just point that out in passing. Now, I'm going to turn this framing off, and I'll turn it back on in a minute. Mainly it's just clutter for what I'm fixing to do. Okay, I'm going to go over to the Build Roof dialog and make sure that Auto Rebuild Roofs is turned off. I don't want that on. It's not. I'm going to change the pitch to uh, 412. And you'll notice it doesn't change these, these roofs here because I have Auto Rebuild Roofs off. But it does affect when I, when I build a custom ceiling plane, it'll set that pitch to 4. So we'll go over here to build, roof, ceiling plane. Left click on that to put us in that ceiling plane mode. Now ceiling planes, you draw them on the out, outer, the baseline of, of them on the outer edge of the framing, just like a roof plane. You can see the pitch indicator is pointing in, into the building, and that's where I want it to go. I want the pitch indicator there, that little pip, that just shows in plan B which way the uh, plane is slanting. And then I'm going to do, and see it's a little slightly different. It doesn't, it doesn't give me overhang because the ceiling, you don't need overhang for a ceiling plane. <clears throat> and then I'm going to go back over here and get back in that tool mode, roof, ceiling plane. And then we're left click and drag. You can see the little pips going in that direction now while well, I goofed it up. But where you drag your mouse determines which way it, it slants. Now I've goofed that up. I'm just going to delete that one. I'll, I was trying to show you the uh, baseline there. I messed it up. Okay. <clears throat> now, just like roof planes, the ceiling planes can be joined. See the join roof? I'm going to join this one to the other one. And with ceiling planes, you wouldn't drag it to the outside like a roof plane, just to the inside of the wall on these rake ends. They just go right to that edge. If you drag them to the outside, they'll, st they'll show outside in your outside elevations where you, you don't particularly want that effect. So I'm just dragging it to the inside. It's over, their baseline is slightly over to the outside. That may seem crazy to you, but that's just the way they program them to work. Now we'll go back in here and you can see so here's the ceiling plane at 412, and there's the roof plane at 812. And uh, I, I've got some framing turned on here uh, that's uh, roof and, and, and uh, wall framing. Now, to get this to frame, <clears throat> it's very straightforward. You just go to Build, Framing, and... Not floor and ceiling truss. We want roof roof truss. There it is, roof truss. And you just left click and drag. Yeah, we want that turned on. And there's your truss. <clears throat> now with the truss, I generally draw the first one. I'm going to drag that over here and copy that in place. Here's a copy and place tool. And then drag a copy. So there's two copies in the same space. We'll take this over. And uh, I'm going to use it. Oh, okay, the arrow keys don't work in Pro. I get spoiled using Chief Premier. I'm going to drag this truss over until, yeah, I snapped right on the edge. And this particular one, I'm going to open its dialog box and tell it to force the truss to rebuild and that it's an end truss. The software's not smart enough to know what's an intrust and what's not. You have to tell it. Okay? So that's the intrust. And the rest of the trusses I want at 24OC. So that's that temporary dimension is not measuring to where I want to. So I'm just going to drag this over until it's right there against the other truss. And then I'm going to use Transform Replicate to move that truss up screen. That's plus Y, 24 inches. Yeah, okay. 
And so there's my actual truss. And then we'll go over here. Uh, let's see, I, what's the distance here? 39 feet. It doesn't matter. I'm going to. I'm just going to click on this truss. We'll hit the uh, transform replicate tool, and I'll make um, 30 copies. And I'll move each copy up screen 24 inches. I'll click OK. And the error message came because I I knew that that was way too many trusses. And the ones, of course, that are outside of the house, I'm just going to delete. You could carefully calculate that, but, you know, what does it matter when you can just easily... Uh, now, this one here uh, that's on the outside, I'm going to click on that and put in minus 1.5 inches. I think trusses are an inch and a half. It'll put that right on the edge, and this one here will open it and tell it to force rebuild and to be an in truss. Now, let's look at this in a uh, overview framing camera, and you'll see what... Okay, let me get some of this uh, balloon frame stuff is into the truss. So, and I built this framing before I built uh, the trusses. So, I'm going to go over to edit. Uh, oops, you don't have. I'm sorry. Maybe you have to do this in plan view. I'm looking for delete object. There it is. It's just not in camera views. And I'm going to. All floors, I'm going to delete wall framing. I, I'm going to, I need to delete it so I can rebuild it. Okay, wall framing, we'll delete that. Oh. Now we should go back. I want to check and make sure that it's gone. Yeah, okay, now we just have... There's my entrust. <clears throat> See how the entrust is actually rebuilt and they're not scissor because they're over... They're not over that area that's controlled by the uh, uh, ceiling planes. Okay. Now we can go over here and uh, finish this up. And that's a build framing. Uh, where's build, build framing? We'll put the wall framing back in just for fun. Yeah, turn it on. <coughs> And there's the whole thing with the uh, the framing that you were c complaining about missing. You, you, there's just manual steps you had to take to get that in there properly. And it's not very intuitive. It just is what it is, and that's how it works. <clears throat> and we'll go in here to a camera view, a regular full camera view. And there you go. There's the 412 with the 812 roof over the top. And we'll go back. Yeah. <clears throat> There's one of your scissor trusses. You can see an elevation. So that's how that works. Hope this helps you and uh, as many others who are interested. Thank you. Have a good day.